when stars form, there are actually very clear limits in terms of what is the lowest mass they can form at and what is the highest mass they can form at. And this has to do with the physics of, for example, fusion. And the low mass is essentially set by stars not being hot enough to ever fuse hydrogen in the core. Well, for high mass stars, and you can see them essentially going here, something around 100 solar masses or more, they're very hard to actually form and maintain because the way that they produce energy. The reason for this is because while most stars, including the sun and those at lower temperatures and lower masses, they produce energy through the PP chain. And in 264, we'll actually go into more details about this. But for the PP chain, the energy production essentially depends as T to the four. Stars, which are much more massive, actually produce most of their energy through the CNO cycle, where C, N, and O act as catalysts. And it turns out that for very massive stars, this energy production is way more efficient than the PP chain and actually goes as temperature to the power of 17. Now, because these stars are also the hottest, it means that very quickly they are producing so much energy that they can't really be stable. And many of these stars, if they ever form with something like 100, 200, 300 solar masses, they very easily blow apart and essentially they're blown out by radiation pressure from this incredibly highly energetic and efficient CNO process. But of course, as I mentioned in the lecture notes, if you are able to remove all the carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen from those massive stars, they would be powered by the PP chain and therefore they would be stable. And this is one of the reasons why we think that for the first generation stars or stars that were formed before carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen were formed, they could have been very massive and stable. But those formed now have a really hard time doing that. For the lowest mass stars, as you can see all the way down to here, they, they get down to perhaps 0.1 or 0.08 solar masses. Stars with masses below that simply do not exist because their collapse essentially halts due to electron degeneracy pressure. It means that at some point they become stable, but at that point, they're actually not hot enough in the core to actually trigger to start fusing hydrogen into helium. And therefore, they're referred to as failed stars or brown dwarfs. 